Larceny Barrel Proof. I've had them before. They're all pretty good. This is going to be a fresh crack. Here we go. Hey, it's Matt Bourbon Banters 2020. I've got to change my shirt. I'm knocking out a bunch of whew, bottles here because that's how I do it. I knock out probably five, six, seven, eight, nine, whatever, whatever I can handle. I knock out these things. You're going to get two shirts in a row. This is a uh, Black Rifle coffee shirt. It says coffee. Medic, need coffee. Do an review on this. I picked this thing up. Uh, a while back I got two of these things so I am going to open this thing up and please let this be hang on hang hang on I'm having a tough time here come on come on all right breaking out the knife this is whoo and it's a fresh crack what you need to do with fresh cracks they're gonna taste a little bit softer supple more of that love and feeling when you let it air out a little bit. It's that, you know, what is it, Righteous Brothers? That love and feeling. Soft, supple, like someone rubbing your feet. That's what you need. But on a fresh crack, it's just mean, long toenails, scratching on the floor for the most part. This is Larceny Barrel Proof A123. So this is probably the first release of their three per year releases comes out of Heaven Hill. Heaven Hill's good. I like Heaven Hill. Heaven Hill's makes some good stuff. Uh, can't afford an old Fitzgerald, but I guess the last one they released wasn't that good from what the pros say. So, proof 125.8. Yep, they're not shy. They put it on there, 125.8. So it's hot. Age is six to eight years. Mash bill 68 corn, 20 wheat. So this is a weeded one. 12 Mar Marty MSRP 60. I got it for 60. This is for a 6 to 8, 125 proof, 60 bucks. This is a score. Even if you don't like weeded ones, it's a score for 60 bucks. I've seen this stuff for 78, 100, 125 just because these uh, liquor stores just fucking want to stick it to you. But you get these at you know the big the big chains because that's that's what's going to have to happen because people aren't going to get ripped off. Hey, I'm going to go into a, a liquor store, pay 125, 150 bucks for this thing, where I can go to Total Wine and get it for 60. You know what? You're going to go out of business. But what those liquor store people do is they go to the Total Wine, buy all of them up, and sell them for double the price. That's just dirty. On the nose, they got the wheat sweetness. A hair bit of cinnamon and oak. It's just sweet. First sip. 125 point. I'm sorry. Does it really matter? 125 or 126? I want to round it up to 126. Only because it's 125.8. You want to round it up? Go ahead. It does taste warm. I am one, two. This is my third bottle in, plus a warm up. So four <clears throat> is where you start seeing the wheels come off. And I'm going to do everything I can not to slurp. The palate, it's kind of like a bread, a little bit of chocolate on there, caramel, like a syrup. I'm going again. On that second one, and mind you, I, it's a fresh crack and it's going to be a little more subtle and softer, I would say, a few weeks down the road since it's been open, get some air in there. I'm getting a little cola, a little bit of that, a little bit of spice in there, and a slight chocolate, and caramel. But it's like a, a syrup type, I don't know if it's like maple syrup or like a, or whatever kind of syrup it is. I'm gonna keep going because I'm gonna run out of time and I'd rather be off camera done working and try and put my shit away because there's a lag period, you know what, 20 minute lag, 30 minute lag where you're thinking, okay, I'm starting to get hammered and then when you're really hammered. So I'm gonna go 30 minutes. And plus, I gotta make grilled cheese tonight, yeah. I make bitchin' grilled cheese. I made the order, that's what I do, make grilled cheese. So, it's one of those nights. Rainy day, grilled cheese, I'll probably get bitched at, I'll try and pick a fight. So, switch that, yeah. Again, 
I get that brown sugar, a little cola, kind of rolls into a oak and a slight tobacco, but it's sweet. But with this proof and with, you know, the consistency that Larceny does, it just kind of hangs there. It hangs. It's good. It's hanging around. It's like that bum on the street corner. He's going to be there until he gets his fix. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, Hillary's mowing through this, so this is a timeline. Had an earthquake. I'm in California. It's a big fault line. It was in Ojai, and that's out there by Ventura if you guys want to look it up. My poor daughter, she's working, and she texts me, she goes, and I felt it. I'm like, oh, yeah, hey, we're having a little uh, earthquake. All right. You know, I've been through the big ones. She goes, did you guys feel it? I go, yeah, just a little bit. And she goes, man, it broke windows. She works up in Ojai, which is right out there by uh, Ventura, California. And the windows broke out, pictures fell off, glasses fell, dishes broke, so they got rocked rock and then she just texted me and she and she said we're still getting aftershocks i'm like yeah you know that's how they work these earthquakes so anyone on the west east coast midwest that have never experienced a uh, earthquake it sucks it's like the grim reaper right behind you getting ready and you don't know when he's going to chop your head off that's how they work they fuck with you mentally but you know it's you know i've been through the uh 92 92 quake 94 94 earthquake and that just destroyed my apartment they had a con they condemned it so all right so much for that ramp all right back on this Tim brown sugar i think that's prominent it's sweet kind of rolls in a little chocolate a hair bit of spice on there it could be the uh 25.8 proof and the caramel get a little of that tobacco and oak i think this one's great you know the pros they got thousands and thousands of followers I'm doing it again. I'm finishing it up. They're so good. These guys are so good. They can go, yeah, we don't like the first release, the second release. The third release is usually pretty better. It's like, no, fuck you, dude. You can't do that. You're not that good. But it's a perception of the image of that they can that you guys are like, eh, yeah, he knows what he's talking about. I'm, I'm waiting for the 523 or the 923 or whatever the, the releases are on these things. I'm just here <clears throat> to tell you Hey, it's good. It's great. I'm going to give this thing a great category. If I can find another one, which I did, I got another one for the price, 60 bucks, which I did. It's well worth it. But if you're getting hammered by 100, 120, leave it. You don't need it that bad. Heaven Hill makes good product. They make good stuff. They do. And I guess with their Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, they actually stopped doing the 12 or this last go around was a 11.5 or 11.6 age limit on it. And I think they made, made it based off of flavor profile. So they did what they had to do. But Heaven Hill makes good product. That's why I bought two of these things. Because you know it's gonna be good. It's gonna be even smoother when it comes down to having it air out a little bit. It, it, it'll be easier drinking. You don't get that burn. It's a little bit smoother and it's 125 proof. So. Point eight. It's well worth it for 60 bucks. I wouldn't pay anything over 70 for it. Because, you know, I don't need to cater to those that need to rip me off. Hey, if you like this, get it. It falls in the great category. If you can find it, get it. If you can find it, get two. It'd be well worth it. I'm Matt. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, share it, pass it on. Tell a friend, pass the word. I'll talk to you later.